Snyder for Hometown Roster here with Coach Dukalon for the BFA Boys High School Hockey Team. Coach, thanks for joining us today. Well, thank you. So I just want to learn a little bit more about you because uh, everyone sees you on the bench or on the ice, but I mean, we want to learn a little bit more. So tell us a little bit about yourself and how you became the coach of the BFA Bob Whites. Uh, well, first of all, I played all my youth, youth hockey here in St. Albans. Uh, I started when I was seven, um, played all the way through uh, through my Bantam year, then played here for BFA uh, for three years. And, uh, played college hockey at UVM, played a few years after that, and then immediately after that I uh, started here at BFA and I've been here ever since. I haven't, I haven't had a winner off yet. No, yeah, what's it, what's it like being a player for team? And then, I mean, you probably weren't thinking when you were playing for BFA, I'm going to be the coach of this team someday. No, I, was, I was not, but right. uh, it makes it a little more special, um, for sure, without a doubt. Um, I think it's great. I think it's a, it's a definitely a great connection that you have. Um, and I was very lucky to get the job way back when, and uh, so far, so good. Yeah, you said about 26, 27 yeah, years? 26, I think it's 20, my 26, I believe. 26 years. Well, wow. anything over that 26 year span that kind of stands out in your mind? Well, we've had some great, some great teams. We've had some great guys. Uh, we've had some fun times. We've had some uh, not so fun times, but uh, the experiences overall have been very, very good. And, uh, that's the reason I'm still doing it. All right, you're kind of the definition of like a hometown athlete because not only did you go to school here, you coach here, but down the road, down 89, you were also a player for UVM. Yeah, I was very fortunate. I didn't go too far. Uh, yeah, without a doubt, I was lucky to play here. BFA is one of the better high school teams in the state, uh, you know, forever. Um, and I was very fortunate to play at UVM. So. Uh, Things definitely uh, you know, worked out for me. Yeah, you had a pretty good career, I would say, at UVM, considering that you were also drafted back in 1984. Yeah, yeah things went well at UVM, and I was lucky enough to play a couple years after that. So it's, uh, uh, hockey's been uh, real good to me. Yeah, I'm, I mean, like I had told you before, I'm a stat geek, so I'm on there. I'm looking, all right, who who was drafted before, you know, Toby, before, you know, in 1984? And I'm going, oh, number one, kind of an easy one, Mario Lemieux. It was. It wasn't easy. It was a no-brainer yeah. back then. Right, right, right. But you, you didn't go. It's not like you were like 200 something. You were 50th I in 1984. 50. That's that's a, that's a heck of an accomplishment. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was. Uh, you know, back then it was. It's easier. Than, it was a lot easier back then than it is today. Okay. Um, I will say that for sure. Um, they liked. You know, big people. I was a pretty good size high school student, mm -hmm. um, and it's all about projection. Uh, the draft. It was then. It is now. Um, and I was just lucky enough to go pretty high. So. Uh, like I say, you know, hockey overall, the game has been very good to me. One of the names that actually stood out on that draft board that I was looking at was number 51, 51. after you. Yeah, I figured that. Uh, Patrick Roy, for what arguably the greatest goalie in the NHL. I probably would agree with that. Right, right. I, that's yeah. just kind of, is, that, is that a story you tell? Like, well, I went before Patrick Roy in the 1984 draft. Well, uh, yeah. Busted out of parties and stuff like that, well, you know. It's kind of a long story, actually. Uh, Montreal actually was taking me. Uh, really? Yeah, they were. Um, and then when St. Louis took me 50th, they kind of scattered a little bit, took a timeout uh, at the draft, and they were searching for the next you know, kid at that time. They thought uh, you know, that they could help their organization. They took Patrick Waugh, so, um, and he did a lot better in the game of hockey than I did. So um, that I, think, would, I think their choice was, was pretty good. It would have been some kind of story for them to, was it easy for them to, um, to scout you a little bit, being this were, area? That's correct. Okay. Obviously, I was close by, so. Because St. Louis seems like it's kind of like a out of the a shot in the it, dark it type was of a little team. Bit. Um, yeah, without a doubt, you know. But uh, Montreal had interest, um, and that's why you know they were taking me to 51st, and you know, for whatever reason St. Louis took me, and so you know he was available, I was not. And, uh, they made a good choice. All right, what what happened once you were drafted by uh, St. Louis? You had a couple of years with the uh, uh, Peoria Rivermen. Well, I got drafted out of high school. Okay. Uh, then I played uh, you know four years at UVM. And then after that, I played two years in Illinois, at Peoria, Illinois. Uh, and then my third year, I got bought out. Um, and I got I got the job here at BFA after my second year of my contract. So um, I was lucky enough they bought me out of my third year, um, gave me some money, and then I started here at BFA. I know your answer already, but I'll ask you anyway. Any regrets not continuing your career in the NHL? No, no, not at all. I mean, I, I, I might have if I would have stopped hockey completely. Uh, but I went immediately from playing, you know, in the month of April to coaching in the month of November that same year. Uh, I haven't stopped since. Um, so, no, not really, man. I've always been, you know, a part of hockey, uh, no matter if it's high school or, you know, college or professional.
professional level, and it's uh, I've been very, very fortunate. Uh, I haven't had a winter off, so it's been it's been kind of right. long. At times, I, at times, I maybe I think I'm ready for a winter off, but uh, it's been good to me. So. I have one other question for you, but I'm actually going to surprise you with a little bit of a speed around right now All of right. questions. So I'm okay. just going to ramble them off and just give me your best answer, okay. and we'll go from there. All right. All right. Who's your favorite Mighty Duck? Oh God, Mighty Duck. And I'm talking the movie. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna have to pass on that. One. Pass on that one, okay. So not you're not a you're I'm not, not a, a big movie guy. No, you're not a coach not, fan or anything like that. Not a big that? movie guy. No. Emilio Estevez, not no. Uh, you don't, don't type mirror yourself little, after very him. Very little. Okay. Very little. Uh, if you weren't, you were a right winger in I hockey. Was, if yeah, you was. couldn't play that position, what would have been the other one? Don't say left winger. Defenseman. Defenseman. Yeah. It's something you had a passion for. Uh, I played a little bit of defense at the, at the lower level. I could never play at a high level. Okay. Because uh, I didn't skate well enough, but uh, the defenseman was fun. Can you name the original six for hockey? Boy, Montreal, I would say Detroit. I'll it's two. Say Toronto. Chicago was in there, was four. Mm -hmm. Rangers was five, was in there. Yep. It was six. Not too Boston far away. In there. Yeah, Boston. I was going to say Boston. Yep. Six. There you go. Um, how, what's the weight of a hockey puck? No idea, I would say uh, four ounce. Almost six ounces. Six ounces, yep. there you go. It's a little lighter yeah. for you, okay. Have you ever been in fights for hockey? I've been in a few scraps. What's yes. your go-to move? Are you like an uppercut guy, or are you kind of just wait it out like Rocky? I'm a, I'm a just, lefty, I'm a lefty, yeah. so I wasn't You got the southpaw coming in then. I'm, I'm all southpaw, yes. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> if you couldn't play hockey, what would you be doing? That's a good question. I, I don't know. I mean, hockey's opened so many doors. What would I do? You know, that's a, it's a great question. Uh, I don't know if I can give you a real answer because I've always done it. You know, I've started, like I say, when I was seven. I haven't stopped. Uh, it's got me here. It's, uh, I don't know. I don't okay. know what I would have done. I see you have short hair now, but. I have no hair now. You have no hair now, have but no hair now. back then, you had some, you got I, a I had, thick I, I, I locks never, right there. It was never thick. Yeah, it, it looks never, like, yeah, it, it never looks thick. like, it looks like all business in the front, there. but yeah. is it the mullet <laughs> in the back? And that's what we're, that's what we're talking about. So if you wouldn't mind, if you could sign this for me, I, I that'd sure be great. And I would really appreciate that. And while you're doing that, I'll ask you my final question is what's next for, for coach Dusalam? Well. Dusalam, sorry. We've got uh, we got our second half of our season here, so that's kind of really what I'm I'm worried about. Uh, or uh, you know, I think this year we've done a, it's been a nice winter for us. The first half, we're almost halfway through next week, um, and the first half's been very good to us. And I think we uh, our, our biggest thing now is to become the best team in the state. Our skills are pretty good, and uh, if we can concentrate on uh, you know becoming the best team, I think we're gonna have a good shot at something at the end. Hopefully, get rewarded uh, in early early March or late February. So um, that's my goal for the next six weeks is just maybe become the very best team in the state. All right, Coach, I really appreciate it. It's uh, Coach Toby Dugalon for the BFA Bob Whites for hockey team. Appreciate you coming out and no being on top with us. Right.